Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I have got the boys with me today, Antonio and Phil. And today folks, we are fishing saltwater and the first fish of the day is a little scup, also known as porgy. I'm running the one ounce silver peanut bunker today and believe it or not, that little porgy, that little scup hit the one ounce lure. Uh, I went with one ounce because we're only fishing, we're fishing 20 feet of water. It's, it's not deep here. And it's not windy either. So I can get away with a lighter uh, jigging spoon. So the sting nose I went with today is one ounce silver. And Phil, you went with? I got the one ounce gold. One ounce gold. And then we got Antonio at the front of the boat. What are you running? One ounce gold. All sting nose peanut bunker? Peanut bunker. I actually have a teaser on the top. Oh yeah? Let me see your rig. Okay. Teaser T with a one ounce sting nose. Nice. So the advantage there is if there's any suspended fish, they'll hit the teaser. And plus the teaser is also an extra attraction. Plus I can get two at a time. <laughs> plus you can get, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So um, we got a little chop on the water. These fish are scattered today. Believe it or not, it's the month of June. Um, it's, it's a little cool. We had a major cold front. Air conditioning I had on last week. This week you need the heat. Oh, I missed one. Uh, so there's a cold front that moved in and these fish are a bit scattered. The water temperature is 62 degrees. Like I said, it's the second week of June. So we're gonna see if we can find, we'd like to get some sea bass today if we can. So we're gonna do this search and drift a bit and see if we can get into some fish. So stay tuned, folks. We got a double going on here. Phil's got one on and I got one on. I don't know, is another scup maybe? Or something small, yeah. Mine feels, oh, what do you got? Keeper scup. Keeper scup? <laughs> nice, he nailed that sting nose peanut bunker, right? Eh? Can you imagine that, one ounce? I know, I know. Small mouth and they go for the bigger bait. It's crazy. Okay, and I got myself a sea bass. Nice. Okay. Not quite the size we're looking for. It takes 16 and a half inch to keep, folks. 16 and a half, that's not gonna quite cut it. But if you notice, the sting nose, a lot of people say, oh, are you fishing it upside down? No, no, the hook is located at the head as opposed to most jigging spoons because that's where the fish bite. So that's where exactly where you want your hook is right at the head. Oh, he's clamping down on that hook too. Ah, there we go. Okay. Mr. Sea Bass. All right. There's one. Uh, good. Oh, I was going to say, off. there's a start. Came, came off? Yeah. You lost him? Maybe another scup because they got those small mouths. It's probably feels scuppy. Another scup? Yeah. Bigger? Actually, they're very tasty fish. That one's not going to quite this measure. Too small, yeah. They, they got to be, be 10 and a half. 10 and a half, yeah. Okay, so it <laughs> looks like we got a mix of scup and little sea bass but hopefully you can find some bigger ones the technique folks is simple it's just a cast and bounce back retrieve and like I said I'm only using the one ounce uh, sting nose because we don't have that much drift going right now but I did bring one and a half and two even some threes if things get rough but they're not calling for it today there you go they're not calling for rough water today so I'm gonna stick with the one ounce as long as I possibly can. This feels like another small sea bass. But you see how you just bounce it back and let it flutter down it. Now these, these sting those peanut bunker in the salt water looks like an injured menhaden. A small menhaden and the nickname is peanut bunker. Now if I was fishing this in salt water or in fresh water, it would resemble a shad freshwater shad and that's folks what we call a tatog that is a tatog oh, nice. yeah they have teeth like you can't imagine okay I'm gonna show you I can show you their teeth I don't want to get my hand anywhere near their mouth uh, maybe it's not a good idea but they have uh, very very rabbit like strong chompers but yeah that's that's what a tatog or tatog that's how they're pronounced. And he's not gonna keep either because they gotta also be 16. Oops. No, it just came off. They gotta be 16 and a half as well. 
so I'm just gonna keep my fingers away from his mouth folks so we got a variety of fish that's uh, three different fish already uh-huh three different fish three different species one lure I really want to keep my hand away from his mouth there see if I can do it without touching him I did okay he's no worse for wear and my fingers have been saved and Antonio is on on the bite how much size of this fish Another scup maybe, or? no I think it's a sea bass there you go. it is you get the spoon small one so it looks like they seem to be small But you know what? Small fish, a lot of fun. Jig in salt water, folks. Oh, it's just a riot. Just work those sting those peanut bunker back. Just bounce them off the bottom. I don't fish salt water without these peanut bunkers, I'll tell you that. Yes, I use them a lot in fresh water, but I'll tell you what. They just love them. Feels like, I don't know what we got here. Maybe we got another species. Let's see. <laughs> And no, it's another scup. And he hammered it too. This one I think is going to measure. Let's take a look. I can't believe these scup going after this one ounce. There's lots of scup lights here. Yeah. So that's a scup. Also known as por Porgy. Hey, Antonio's on too. You're on the scup, I'm on the sea bass. Yeah? Small though. Well, this one's ten and a half inches, so I'm gonna throw him back. He's... You got a little sea bass in there? This sea bass is probably ten and a half inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I released my scup. Did you, did you lose yours, Phil? Yeah, there's another scup. Oh, there's well, there you go. At least there's fish holding here. We're in, actually, we're in 23 feet of water right now. Yeah. Or monster scup. <laughs> hey, a monster scup would be all right. Oh, it's definitely not a scup. Oh, I got one too, Phil. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You got a good sea bass. Oh, need the net. A keeper, yeah. That might be a keeper. That's looking a little better. Yeah. You got the net handy. Yeah. Uh, I got something decent too but maybe not a keeper so the sea bass got to be 16 and a half inches as well that's a nice sea bass Phil yep don't get me hook cut he, he went for the gold eh go for the go, gold go for the gold and I got I'm rocking I think Rock <laughs> <laughs> like I said, let's see if we can catch another species of fish. <laughs> Look at this thing, folks. These things are unbelievable. Yeah, I don't want to get my hand anywhere near his head because it's all spines. I can grab him by the by the tail or under the neck, but listen to the grunting sound, eh? This guy's 19 inches. 19? Let's take a look at him. Oh, that's a dandy. Okay, now that's what we came here for, Phil, right there. 19 and a half. That's a good keeper. Now, some people say these sea robin are good eating, but we released them. And get that hook out. He nailed it, too. Ooh. Okay, let's get him back in there. Okay, so we got... We got... Scup, aka Porgy. We got sea bass. We got Tatag. And now we got sea robin. So that I think that's the that's a pretty good variety. <laughs> <laughs> that's a decent variety of fish. Okay. And I think and folks our day is just beginning, but that's what we're looking for, are those nice keeper sea bass. So we're gonna keep 
working this area here, 23 feet of water, working these thing nose back to the boat and see if we can get into some more fish. But saltwater fishing, folks, you want excitement, just fish saltwater, it's a riot. Wherever you're tuning in from, I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Give saltwater fishing a try. It's a riot. You'll have a blast. We're already having a good time out here today. And like I say, our day is just beginning. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. <laughs> oh, another miss. <laughs>